A BC classroom that's changing lives. UBC engineering students learn what it's like to live with physical challenges and then invent clever ways to make those challenges disappear. Using their creativity to connect with their community. Deb has details on an inventive program involving UBC engineering students. This is a pretty cool story. Deb. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Chris. Biomedical engineering students at UBC are helping to make the lives of some members of their community a little bit easier. They're learning about the daily challenges of a person with a disability, and they're working to develop tailor-made solutions to enhance that person's quality of life. It's called Community Service Learning, and Linda Aylesworth shows us how it works. They are third-year UBC biomedical engineering students whose goals and passions are to design devices to help people medically, skills they're learning in a new way, thanks to their professor, Leo Stocco. The usual life of the student is that they get all hypothetical problems that, that they have to solve, ones that don't exist that are out of a textbook. Well, in this case, it's not hypothetical. There's a real person that the students are trying to help. Meet that real person. No, step left to me. Randy Spencer suffered a brain injury 15 years ago. He has high hopes that these students will help him realize a dream. My hope is to be out of the wheelchair, walking and say bye-bye to the wheelchair. So long, Sanofi wheelchair, bye-bye. It all started back in January with a meeting. Um, when we met Randy and he demonstrated his cap capabilities, he showed us that, um, that he had troubles like walking and standing. And so Whitney and Adrian's team came up with this, the training walker. Bring your body on top of your feet, on top of your feet, on top of your feet, bravo. Hey, and be tall now. Hey, keep your balance. Not only does it help Randy lift himself out of the wheelchair, it functions as a walker. And then uh, if he does feel tired or can't stand up anymore, he is able to just like slowly sit back, sit down. back down. It's good for building up his confidence too, like if he gets tired, just on a walk to a park, he can always take a rest. When we see Randy, like the um, problems that he has to overcome, then we can see what kind of things that we need to help him with. What Cassandra and her team saw was Randy's difficulties with balance. And so they designed the leanometer. When he stands on the two boards, and then if he leans further in one direction, then the motor moves in that same direction, so he knows that he's leaning too far in one side. Also created to help with Randy's balance issues, a laser vest that lets him practice staying level and builds those all-important core muscles. If he is able to keep his balance here without falling, he has improved a lot. Before, he was always slumped like that, down. Now he's able to be straight. These students can be very creative, and they come up with ideas that I never even would have imagined myself. It wouldn't surprise me at all if one of them turned into a patent in a company one day. Things that will help me to balance and walk independently in the future. The future appears very, very sunny. <laughs> that is wonderful. The number of UBC faculties involved in community service learning is growing. So how does it work? It's a model of experiential learning that combines classroom learning with volunteer work that achieves community goals. It has three key elements. Voluntary work in community settings that achieves goals or meets priorities identified by a community. Academic content that relates to the nature of the service that they're providing and structured activities that encourage students to make connections between what they're studying and what they are experiencing in the community. Now, some of the previous UBC projects benefited AIDS Vancouver, the Canadian Mental Health Association, and Dr. Sun Yat-sen classic, or classical Chinese gardens as well. Chris, that's tonight's insight and it's really lovely to work with real people. I think It, it those sure kids. is. Yeah. And we hope for the day when Randy can say goodbye to his wheelchair. Absolutely. He's got a good sense of humor about it, which is good <laughs> to see. Thanks a lot, Deb.